A headland guidance pattern is a guidance pattern that will generate a set of circuits around the outer perimeter of the field and then use what is known as an infill guidance line. When the headland guidance pattern is created, a boundary is created both on the outer and the inner edge of the last pass on the outer circuit. The inner boundary will automatically adjust based on the implement width and the number of circuits required. The infill guidance pattern can either be a straight line or a curved guidance line. To record a headland pattern, press the headland icon. Then specify the number of circuits you want to record around the outer perimeter. This number can be altered later in the field manager. You also have the ability to define whether or not you want to record the infill pattern while recording the outer circuits. Selecting no allows you to just record the outside circuits, not having to record the infill. The infill can be assigned to the headland pattern from an existing guidance line in the field manager at a later date. If selecting yes, you will have the option of selecting a B guidance pattern or an A plus heading guidance pattern to record at the same time as recording your outside circuit. Once you have defined how you wish to record your headland pattern, press the record button to begin recording. This will record the driven path of the vehicle. To create a straight line segment, you can press the pause recording and then resume and a straight line will be snapped between these two points. Pressing the X will cancel the recording process at any time. If you have chosen to record an infill pattern, this will need to be done before the headland can be closed. It is the same procedure as recording a basic AB or A plus heading guidance pattern as described earlier. The heading guidance pattern can be closed in two ways. One, pressing the stop record button when close enough or automatically closing when passing past the beginning. The auto close distance can be defined in the precision IQ settings under patterns. Once a headland guidance pattern has been created, you can quickly and easily switch between the outer circuits and the infill pattern by pressing the guidance cycle button. When the infill is selected, the inner boundary will also become active in order to control the implement's automatic shutoff. This will allow an operator to sew the inner part of the field before the headlands. If, however, you are performing an application where you are planting or spraying the headlands first and wish to use the infill guidance pattern, it is recommended to go into the boundaries and activate the outer boundary rather than the inner boundary. Activating the outer boundary will allow an implement such as a sprayer to automatically switch on and off based on the actual coverage rather than the inner boundary itself. To adjust your headland settings, you will need to use the field manager. In the field manager, under guidance patterns, activate your headland guidance. With the headland guidance pattern active, you can adjust the number of circuits by pressing the circuit button. Changing the number of circuits here will also adjust the infield boundary to match that of your implement and the number of circuits you are requiring. To change the assigned guidance line for the infield, select the infill button. You can choose to select from an existing AB, A plus heading or curved guidance line or choose to assign none. The associated infield guidance line will be displayed in the guidance line information tab. Both the inner and outer headland boundaries will be displayed in the boundaries tab. The outer boundary will act the same way as if you recorded a field boundary. However, if the headland guidance pattern is deleted, the field boundaries associated will also be deleted.